everybody. Hello, hello, and hello. Good afternoon. It is uh, almost two o'clock uh, in the afternoon here, um, Tuesday afternoon. Um, I just went back, uh, just coming back from Houston. I was in Rosenberg, as y'all know. Uh, Regina was on with us this morning uh, on Mornings in Faith. It was a blessed time. I really appreciate all of y'all's encouragement. I'm so glad that y'all all got to meet her. It was uh, truly a blessing and get to drive into Houston uh, at the time I uh, I will be 100% candid and honest I was actually right outside of uh, Kendleton uh, there was a construction area I wasn't paying attention and I was driving over the speed limit and uh, I was I got stopped I got stopped and the police officer stopped myself and another person at the same time and you know, I didn't get upset. I mean, I knew I was in the wrong. I knew that I should have been paying attention more closely instead of having conversations and stuff like that. However, there's a blessing behind it all because uh, at that time, the police officer uh, who wrote me a ticket, when he came back with the ticket, he was like kind of almost pol apologetic. He's like, you know, we're in a war. And I said, sir, I know I was in the wrong, but I cannot pray for you. And he's like, what? I said, can I pray for you? He goes, oh my goodness. He goes, hold on a second. He goes back to his vehicle, comes back. He comes back with uh, some uh, some bookmarks for the, from the ministry that he's part of. He actually uh, ministers to those in prison. He's a police officer that does a prison ministry. And I got to lay hands on him and pray. And I asked him, I said, the other lady, because I could see her car, she was pulled in front of me, kind of perpendicular. And she was just crying her eyes out. Her head was on her steering wheel. And it was just, uh, you could tell that she was just very much, it was a traumatic uh, situation for her. So he allowed me to get out of my vehicle and go pray for her. It was an absolutely blessed time. Got to got to Rosenberg, got to meet the people that Regina was staying with, got to talk to them. They're also from Kenya. It was just a blessed conversation and fellowship. But I wanted to get on real quick, guys, and talk to y'all about fire starters. Fire starters. I, the reason I wanted to, to talk to you about fire starters this Friday, this Friday, starting this Friday, here it is, uh, what's today's date, the, the, the 4th, this Friday, the, the Friday, the, um, the 6th, I believe it's the 6th, 7th, yes, yeah, 6th, this Friday, we will be having Bible study, the Fire Starters Bible study, Fire Starters Bible study will be starting this week, this week at Ramsey's, Ramsey's restaurant. It's over there by Old Detar off of Business 59 in, in Navarro. Right over there, 6 o'clock in the morning at Ramsey's in their back room. Got it cleared with them today. Uh, we will be having a Bible study. Any man, it's not a church specific. It's the Fire Starters, Lampstand Ministries. Leslie and my ministry will be supporting this. The uh, Fire Starters Bible study will be first. First Bible study will be this week this Friday, this Friday coming up at 6 a.m. in the morning at Ramsey's right there next to Detar. I invite everybody, I encourage you right now to share this, get this out there. Uh, they, they say that there's plenty of room for everybody, so it's not a situation where we have to worry about how many people come. If you want to come, men, this is a men's Bible study, by the way, men's Bible study. We are the fire starters. Remember, we are to be the light of the world. The, the, the thing that we talked about this morning with Regina is how many how many just women and children are in church. And we, we talked about this. I was talking to my brother Raul from, uh, from uh, Upper Garage Ministries. I was talking to him and the vast majority of the ladies that come to his ministry, people that come to his ministry are ladies. And I was talking to my brother Joseph and I was talking to my brother Brandon. And it just, it just, uh, it was just put on my heart several months ago, actually, by Joseph about there's not really any true, <clears throat> true Bible-led studies that are just specifically for man, for growing men. I know there's a lot of iron sharpens iron, but, you know, the fact is it's the truth that needs to be taught, the, the lifestyle that needs to be led for, by men in the home, the, the holiness, the righteousness that, that needs to come from the head of the household. Who is, to, who is to love their wives as Christ loves the church. Those are the kind of things that we really want to instill in men. This is a discipleship program, uh, Bible study. I just encourage you, invite anybody that you can 
to come. We would love it's going to be more of an open. Of course, I will bring something, and then we will we will rotate as far as the teaching and goes, and we'll be some participation. We're going to start at six. I know a lot of people can't start stay too long. You know, we're going to try to get it in about a thirty to forty-five minute time frame, maybe up to seven o'clock. So we will be there this Friday, starting this Friday. And this, and my plan is to do this on a weekly basis, weekly every week, in Victoria at Ramsey's at 6 a.m. in the morning. The fire starters for men, fire starters Bible study will start this week, guys. As a light unto the world, and that's why this was actually given to us prophetically years ago. The fire starters name was did not come from my thought process at all. The Lord gave it to a, a brother of mine, and it's just not come to fruition. The timing and everything along those lines it did not come into fruition until now so um, I just uh, was given to us fire starter because we are the lampstand the fact of the matter is <clears throat> we need to be a fire starter fire starter in our homes fire starters in our families fire starters in our marriages fire starters at our work along those lines that's what the intent of this is is to get the fire back in the belly of the men remember the Holy Spirit he is a consuming fire and it, Jesus, he came to baptize in the spirit and in fire. That's the thing. When we see, even on the day of Pentecost, you know, when Jesus was baptized, it, the spirit came on him as a dove. When the spirit came on the apostles and the, all of the people in the upper room, it came as a fire, the cloven fire on their heads. The purpose behind that was there was nothing that Jesus needed burned off, but the apostles, as we know, going into that, Peter and the rest of them, they had things that need to be burned off. That's what fire starters is all about. Getting the things burned off of us that need to be burned off so that we have a flame that we can spread the flame starting in our own lives, into our marriages, into our families, into our homes, into the workplace, to start a fire that just completely goes through Victoria and surrounding areas. That's the whole intent of this Bible study. So I want to make sure and I want to encourage each and every one of you to join us. Join us. This gentleman, join us. Bring a friend. Bring someone you know. It's Again, it's not a church-specific event at all. Bring any man that's hungry. Bring any man that's thirsty. Bring any man that wants a fire back in his in his relationship with Jesus Christ, a fire back in his belly, where men can support men, where we will we will know each other, we will develop a relationship with each other, so that we have people that we can be accountable to, that we can uh, that we can grow each other up, that we can disciple each other, and that for for. Whatever the person needs in their life, they have brothers that understand what they're going through that they can reach out to. That's the whole purpose of this Bible study. So again, I encourage each and every one of you, gentlemen that are on, ladies that are on, tell your men, tell your brothers, tell your sons, tell your husbands, tell your boyfriends, because that's this is the thing that's going to change lives. And I, I just greatly appreciate each and every one of you coming on as I'm driving here. I'm right outside of Ganado, heading into the Ganado on the on the east side of Ganado, going to the west right now. So I just encourage each and every one of you, invite somebody. Please come. We would love to have you. Of course, Ramsey serves an incredible breakfast. If you want to eat breakfast, they'll have the menus there, coffee, whatever the case may be. Of course, you'll be able to do that if you'd like to. But more importantly than then, we're going to get fed. We're going to get our daily bread. We're going to start there. And we're going to get the fire back in the belly of the men, gentlemen. Fire back in the belly of the men. Ladies, your man needs fire in his belly. Make sure he shows up on Friday morning, 6 a.m. at Ramsey's on, on Navarro, right there across the street from Detar Hospital. Guys, I love you. I call you blessed and highly favored. I just encourage you. I can't wait. I pray to see you this Friday at 6 a.m. at Ramsey's in the back room. Guys, go out and be the hands and the feet of God that you've been called to be. Be the vessels that you've been called to be. And we will see you on Friday at 6 o'clock in the morning, guys. We love you. We call you blessed. We call you highly favored in the mighty name of Jesus. I'll see you soon. Have a blessed day.